You know, these are so common around here, I had no idea that this was actually a Canadian thing. These are butter tarts. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max 12. Hello, everyone. This recipe makes enough for about three dozen butter tarts. So you'll need enough pastry. I find pastry for a double crust pie is pretty much enough for about three dozen of these butter tarts. So roll out your pastry. I always use a lard based pastry because I think it's the best, but that is up to you. Use whatever pastry you want. You'll need to cut it out using a four inch cookie cutter. I find that is the perfect size for butter tarts. Once your pastry is cut out, you're gonna put it into your muffin tins. Pretty simple, take each of your pastry rounds and you're gonna press them into your muffin tins. Just make sure you go all the way to the bottom and I like to press out any ruffles. I like to have them flat all the way around, but some people like that ruffled appearance. So you can leave that if you'd like. And then move on to make the filling. The filling is one cup of melted butter that's salted. Add to that two cups of brown sugar one half cup of syrup. Now you can use golden corn syrup. I use maple syrup in mine. Add to that a teaspoon of vanilla extract, about a quarter teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of vinegar. I have no idea what the vinegar does, but I've always used it. Add to that four eggs, and then I blend mine with an electric mixer until it's nicely blended together. Now this part is completely optional and it's up to your tastes. The traditional way is often to use raisins. So I put about a tablespoon of raisins into the bottom of each of those little unbaked pastry shells. If you don't like raisins, I'll leave them out. You can also use pecans. I use chopped up pecans as well because I love pecans. Then you can transfer your filling into a measuring cup with a spout and you're gonna pour the filling into the pastry shells and you're gonna fill it to just a tiny bit over half, no more than that, because when this bakes, that filling is gonna puff up and you don't want it to overflow onto the bottom of your oven. And you don't want it to overflow enough to get between the pastry shell and the muffin tin because the sugar is gonna kind of caramelize and it'll be really hard to remove from your muffin tin once they're baked. Bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes until the pastry is light golden brown. Now here's a little bonus recipe for you. If you have a little bit of pastry left, um, you roll it out, put about a handful of brown sugar on top, sprinkle it liberally with cinnamon, and then just roll them up like you're making a cinnamon roll kind of a thing. Just roll it up, slice them to half inch portions, put them in a little baking dish, and you can bake these along with your butter tarts. It takes about the same amount of time for them to bake. And these are actually called pet de serre, which means nun's farts which is kind of funny. These are always a family favorite as well. So I throw them in a baking dish and you have a little extra dessert on the side that tastes like cinnamon rolls. Okay, I'm gonna show you my butter tarts after they're done and cooled. Now this is a big debate. Everyone does, likes their butter tarts a different way. This is how I like mine. I like mine with the filling fairly firm, still nice and squishy and kind of liquidy in the middle. Some people like their butter tarts really runny. So when you bite into them, you get a lot of liquid kind of pouring out. So that's a complete personal preference thing. If you want them runny inside, just don't bake them for quite as long. Reduce your cooking time to about 10 minutes or so. You'll have to let me know in the comments how you like your butter tarts, if you like them runny or you like them more firm like I do. Butter tarts are traditional dessert around here. They are everywhere and we love them. I have another recipe on my channel that my family loves. This is called bourbon pecan pie. It is a decadent, delicious dessert. It's a wonderful pie. I hope you'll check it out. Thanks for watching.